Hello everybody. So today I thought I would talk about how this game works outside of a tutorial. Um, I've only got three pieces functioning at the moment and I wanted to show you just how powerful this system is because those three pieces, nothing else, can already do some really complex stuff. And I, I wanted to just go ahead and show it to you. Now I'm going to go pretty fast so don't, if you don't know how for science works, don't expect to actually follow exactly what's going on, but I think you'll get the basic idea. These are our chemistry desks, and they are going to produce a lot of notes for us. Now the notes have to be processed into papers. And this is what does the processing into papers, so let's go ahead and we'll just slap down four of these for kicks. But the problem is that these notes are not all the same value. They range from one to three, and you can only put eight notes in a paper. So uh, if they're all threes, you get a paper that's worth 24 points. If they're all ones, you get a paper that's worth eight points. And obviously, we would like to have the better papers. Um, so what we're going to do is we're only going to accept the values of three. We're going to reject all the other notes. Now one way we can do that is over here on the desk, we can actually, uh, if you look on the right, we can actually change it so that it rejects notes that aren't up to par. And that would work. We could say like, okay, you only accept threes, you only accept twos, you, and so on. But unfortunately, the writing desks are not a good place to process papers because they're quite slow. A faster way to process papers is to use these cubicles. So we'll go ahead and set up some cubicles. These cubicles here will only accept threes. And you can see that they have a discard. So what we actually want to do is we want to make it so that the cubicles discard into another cubicle. And we can't pull that off because it's too far away. So what we need to do is we need to make it so that one of these accepts threes and points to this guy. And then same with this guy here, except threes and points to this guy. See? So now these guys on the left will have threes and these guys will have ones and twos. And now all we need to do is wire each of these groups of chemistry labs to an output and they will pass along the notes and you can see that as it, as it gets processed they pass all the, all the low notes to the right and keep all the high notes to the left and we can take advantage of this to just send each cubicle over to one desk. Now normally we wouldn't have it, it, this is not the best way to do it, but it's an easy way to illustrate it. So you can see even now it gets processed and it sends the low values to the right and keeps the high values to the left. And that should work fine. So while that's processing, we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of decoration. We'll put up some walls here. And uh, these guys are supposed to be in offices but we don't have, uh, the office doesn't exist as such yet, so we'll just kind of simulate it by doing this. All of these papers actually exist as physical papers in the world, although I haven't got them in quite the right spot yet. See? Bonk. So if you were to go down into the world and walk around, you could actually look at the papers and maybe even manually pick them up and adjust them, which I think is what I'm going to do, because in the previous version of this game, now look, we just got some, some notes here. Uh, in the previous version of this game, if you wanted to clear papers out of someone's desk because they were jammed up, you had to go through a menu and it was miserable. I think in this version, what I'll do is I'll have a first-person mode that you can go into, and you can walk over and you can click on the papers and you can pick them up. Also, this is um, this sort of system is fairly straightforward, and I built it as straight as simply as possible, uh, just so that you can get a feel for it. But the idea here, ooh, got a stack of threes and another stack, so we're, we're getting working on the papers here. Um, but the basic idea here is a lot more flexible than you might think, because we can actually rotate these on the fly, just by you know. Uh, oh, I'm I'm still set up to do walls. There are some issues with me with how I select things yet, but see if I, if I change it, I change which direction it discards, and that will be a valuable tool if I want to. Um, oh, there's a bug. Look at that bug. Why do we have eight kajillion papers? Well, that's a bug. We'll go ahead and ignore that. But if you want to just take advantage of rotation to do various kinds of programming, you don't have to have a menu or anything. You can flop it over manually. Uh, but either way. The, uh, the system is progressing quite nicely, and you can see that this office has a, uh, has a good level of complexity to it, 
even though there's only three pieces. And I didn't use any complicated menus. So that's what you get when you think about the UI uh, and you really, really work on trying to make it so that it's easy to use but still has all the depth you need. Not to toot my own horn or anything. Anyway, it's going to keep snowing for the rest of the week, and if it snows as bad as it, did, did, as it did today, I might stay home, and if I do that, you can expect a surge of progress. Otherwise, this probably won't be ready in February, um, not, not even an alpha version. Uh, so, have a good day.